Hi, I'm Iman, and welcome back to another video in our series of raising our backyard chickens from the hatchery to hen hood. In our previous video, we talked about installing this feeder over here from Miller Farms in order to feed our chickens every day without having to come back four times a day in order to refill their feed. Now, we're going to do this video on the water fountain. And this water fountain is going to be basically able to uh, let them drink from it without us having to refill it like the feeder. And over here, we have from a little giant brand, and also from the same manufacturer, Miller Manufacturing, Glencoe, Minnesota, we have the two gallon double wall fount. The reason that we got this one was not just because it also is from uh, Miller, but also because um, as opposed to other similar water fountains like uh, from uh, Harris Farms, this one is, doesn't rust easily. I've seen other fonts that rust in around six months. This one doesn't rust as easily, not only because it's galvanized, but it's also made in the USA. And as everyone knows, things that are made in the USA have better quality. It's totally not a lie. And we're gonna use this to feed our chicks uh, because if you didn't know, in our previous videos, we've kept you updated on how much these chicks drink. Now, we usually we need to feed them from these auto um, refillers, which basically have the water come through this little spout here. And we've had to refill this, in the first two weeks, we've had to refill this uh, once a day. Uh, in the last two weeks or, or so, we've had to refill it twice a day because these chickens keep growing and they keep drinking more water. Eventually, they're gonna consume more water that a two gallon fountain is gonna be required in order to keep them well saturated. So that's what we have right here. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually assemble it and install it. So first I'm gonna show you how the way it works. Basically, what happens is if you remove this jacket, and you can see that the way to remove it is that there's this bar keeping it down. You want to twist the handle so that this outer cover is able to slide out. Now you have access to the inside of it. So in the inside, you can actually see the way it works. So this is obviously where you put all the water. Uh, this is sort of, I guess you could call it the tank. And the way that this works is that you have this plug on the inside right here. And what this plug does is it lets the water through. And the way you are wondering how, you might ask, is actually on the outside. This copper strip right here is actually holding the plug in. And as you can see right now, it's on the, when it's outside, the plug is first close to the wall. And when you push down on the strip, when you get it closer to the inside of the, of the, of the tank, you can see that the plug comes out the other side. And as that happens, you can see, uh, maybe if I angle it like this, you can see that there's a hole that's created that allows the water to get through. Yeah, you can see that, yeah, okay. And what happens is that when you put this outer cover on, which I'm going to do right now, you can actually observe this happening in real time. You can see slowly that it pushes it in. You see that? So when you put the water in and then you put the cover on, this pushes it through and actually comes through this hole. And another thing is that it also uses, as it says on the instructions, it uses uh, a vacuum principle, which um, if I remember correctly, it's, if I remember correctly, it's in order to keep the water level and also to make sure that it comes out at a constant rate. So uh, basically when you put this outer cover on, uh, when you put this outer cover on, it seals with the inside of the tank and creates a vacuum. So now, we're gonna put some water on. Uh, by the way, you can get, oh jeez, I forgot how heavy water is. So you can get the, these uh, pretty much any place, Amazon, Walmart, or you can get them from the uh, website, which I think is listed. I think it's millermsg.com. We'll probably put the link in the description down below. Uh, I think this is a good amount to test it, but we actually don't know how long this tank will last us. Maybe a week, maybe 10 days. But we, one thing we know is that as these chickens get older, they're definitely gonna drink more. So right now, we're gonna see how much it, it, it works. Okay, so now we're going to, looks like there's a bit of leakage there. Uh, interesting. Maybe if we put this on, the vacuum is so that all the water doesn't just come out at once. So 
Another thing is that unlike the feeder, you're not supposed to hang it on a chain. You're actually supposed to put it on a platform, which you can see we already have here. Um, and as you can see, this, this little chicky right here is standing on it. So we're going to actually put it in right now. Okay. And they actually say that you should you should put the platform on before you put the outer cover. Uh, at this point, uh, we already put the cover on. So we're just going to lift it slowly in there. They also say it's important to make sure that your feeder is level. I mean, your fountain is level. Uh, we're probably gonna have to get a level to just just to make sure, but uh, uh, according to me, it looks just fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the, the uh, chickens actually drink from the feed uh, from the fountain. No way. So this is this is monumental to me because when we did the feeder video. None of these guys came to, to, to eat from it, but now these guys it seems like they're thirsty. Man, I wonder how, how thirsty they are for the water and how long it's going to take for it to be done. Look at them. They're all, uh, they're all coming around. By the way, if I said these guys uh, gender wrong, they're all females. So if I ever call them guys, I mean uh, girls. If I rather call them he, I mean she. But look at look at her. It looks like she's even curious. She doesn't even care about the fountain. Oh wait. Now we just have to wait for them to test out the, the feeder. But as you can see, it looks like our fountain is working pretty well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back later this night and see if, if the water level diminishes. And if it diminishes, that means it's not working correctly. But Right now, it looks like it's, it's gonna work okay. So for now, I guess that's the end of the video. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, your comment, subscribe, and our videos on I and Ayman, especially videos on raising our chickens in our backyard from, from hatchery to henhood. If you haven't watched our video from actually unboxing these chickens, that's a very unique experience. I mean, who's ever unboxed chickens? Uh, you should go check that out. We've also done the video on this feeder, which since it goes along with the water fountain, you probably should watch it as well. And I'll see you there. But for now, hold on. Okay, this guy, this guy right here is adventurous. He likes to jump out. This girl is adventurous. She likes to jump out. But for now, I'm Iman and signing out. Cheap. <laughs> I mean, cheap as in chickens, not as in the the water fountain. Just cheap. <laughs> Made in the USA.